Welcome back to Basil's 12 Beers of Christmas, or in this case, Helga's 12th Beer of Christmas. Uh, in case anyone doesn't know, I am Basil's long lost sister from Germany, not so long lost now, uh, and the better looking one, of course. And I am back to do the 12th Beer of Christmas for my brother Baz. So, before we get going, let me show you the Christmas attire. There we go. Not only better looking, but all the lumps in all the right places. So, let's get cracking. The final beer we are looking at, and I'm looking forward to this, I know Baza was, and it's from Vocation. And this is part of their Naughty and Nice range, and this is the Roasted Peanut Caramel Chocolate Imperial Stout, coming in at 9% in a 440ml can, basically a liquid Snickers. So, the final one, I've been really impressed, well, I say I have, my brother's been really impressed with all the ones that they've done. Maltese is not so good. Uh, the Twix and the Bounty, fantastic. The Milky Way was nice. And he tells me this is supposed to be really decent. So I'm hoping it is, because if he set me up, I'm gonna have to give him a slap. So, great artwork. Glass at the ready. It's been out the fridge for a bit. So let's get it cracked open and see what we get. Baza sends his love. He hopes you're all well and looking forward to Christmas. He is, or he was until I turned up. So, looks quite thick, that does pouring in. So, beer in a glass. I'm not gonna say that's jet black. That's got a slight red hue in there. We've got a finger of tan compact head on top. Can't really see any, oh yeah, there's a few bubbles going up there. 9%, it's a big one. So let's give it a swirl for old Baz. And see what we get on the nose. <laughs> well, they're not wrong there. That is liquid Snickers in a glass. Peanut, caramel, chocolate with a slight stouty smell just in the background. A little bit sweet. Smells absolutely delicious. Excuse me, just sort my hair out. Gotta make myself look good for you. Let's dive in, give her a taste, cheers. <laughs> yeah, that is decent. That is decent. Let's go in again. Can't drink it too quick. All you guys will be after me. And I'm naughty after I've had a couple of drinks. Body on this beer is pretty light for a 9% beer. It's got to be said. As I've been, as Bazza has been saying, as Bazza has been saying in a few of these, that Although you're kind of disappointed with it not being heavy, it does make it more drinkable. And I've got to agree with him, this one is drinkable with not being so heavy. Nice gentle fizz of carbonation. It's smooth, it's soft. Taste wise, Multi stout taste, hit with chocolate, caramel, peanuts. You hit with it all, really, all in, all in one sort of go. And he warned me about that as well. He said that would inter interrupt this uh, review. Hmm. Yeah. Multi stouty taste going on in there, a little bit roasty, chocolate, caramel. A little bit sweet. The nuttiness in there is there all the way along, but it's just lingering in the background. Slightly sweet. With the minutest of bitter back ends, and I mean absolutely minute. There was just a bitter waft if you like going through on the back end 
9%. Certainly nowhere near in there. You could think that was about 6%. Tops, absolute tops. Uh, what do I think of it? Well, what it does is exactly what it says on the tin. It is a liquid Snickers. My brother knows what he's on about. He does, he really does. That is a liquid Snickers. Is it tasty? It is really tasty. But as with all the other ones, they're pretty much only a one beer sort of drink. It's not something you're gonna session. Would I recommend picking it up if you like your stouts and you like a little bit of sweetness in there, and especially if you like Snickers, give Vocations Naughty and Nice Roasted Peanut Caramel Chocolate Imperial Stout a try. Because I think it's great. And I think old Bazza would too. So, if you've had this beer before, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment, and I'll pass it on to the man. Uh, if you like this video, give it one of them. Thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed my return. Don't know when I'll be back again. And I don't know what I'm going to say. <laughs>